Hello everyone, this is Moshe the Electric Israeli and welcome to another trip on the Tesla Model 3. This time I'm solo, but not for too long. I'm about to go to Maryland, College Park, pick up my son, done with semester two of junior year, oh no, not junior, of sophomore year, <laughs> and coming home for the summer. So I'm going by myself and we're going to load a small fridge, his huge duffel bag and a chair. <laughs> Hopefully it's gonna fit in in the back here. Uh, so I charged the car to 221 miles. And the reason I did that is that I wanted to, uh, the, the Tesla to uh, navigate to a supercharger because if I, if I uh, fully charge the car, uh, it, it does it on, in one in one stop. Uh, so what I want to do is I do want to stop in the supercharger to see if I get um, uh, the uh, speed 100, 150 kilowatt uh, hour sp uh, charging speed because I did get the uh, uh, the software upgrade uh, not too long ago. Uh, so the total trip one way is 230 miles. Uh, to the supercharger in the northeast supercharger, uh, it's going to be um, 155 miles, uh, and then we'll we will charge there for about 10-15 minutes. Go pick up in Maryland, and then I will do another stop on the way uh, because I I want to test. So uh, temperature is about 70 degrees or so. Uh, usually my average speed is 70 to 75 miles an hour, uh, mostly highway, most 95% highway uh, driving. We'll use uh, navigate on autopilot and all that jazz. So the main, uh, the main uh, test here is obviously the uh, charging speed at the superchargers. We'll, so we'll do two of them, like I said, and then also uh, we'll see the uh, watt per hour what per mile what hour per mile that's what i mean what hour per mile and then um air conditioning is on so that's that factor as well give you all the numbers at the end let you know what's going on at the supercharger we'll have coffee together the whole thing you'll go along with me i don't want to be by myself it's not fun so we'll have an awesome trip together stay more videos and stops are coming i'll be right back Okay, guys, uh, we are approaching the uh, supercharger at uh, the Northeast in Maryland, also called Chesapeake. Um, and then uh, we're going to charge there. We're going to see, I'm going to record the, the charging okay. speed. So let me give you some quick numbers. So from home to the uh, supercharger, 155 miles. We started with 220 uh, one miles and we are getting we're gonna be there in about 50 miles left in other words we uh, traveled 155 miles needing 171 miles but 90% uh, ratio 90% meaning we needed 10% more than in terms of miles than what we actually uh, uh, draw but it's not too bad uh, 155 to 171 with the air conditioning and all that 16 miles no big deal it's great i mean in the winter it's a different totally different story anyway so uh we're gonna see the charging speed i'm gonna record it on a uh, you know on a loop and then we'll make some and then we're gonna and then we're gonna have some coffee how about that won't you join me for coffee all right see you soon
Okay guys, uh, we've been here for about 15 minutes or so. Got to 216 miles from 47 basically, once I got here, 47. That is staggering. So I had 140 kilowatt, 140 something kilowatt in the first, I would say seven, eight minutes. That gave me 130 miles and change. And then it went down to 92 or three, and now it's at 68. So uh, I my ride is 75 miles uh, to the college, and then I have to be back here 75, so 150 miles. So I figure I should have, now it's 70 miles buffer, I should have maybe 80, so I'm gonna be here for five more minutes. But this is incredible. This is really, inc I really can take off now, but I'm gonna stay. But this is incredible speeds. That's amazing. All right, here's what we got. We got a fridge, <laughs> poster, a chair, and a huge trunk. And inside, you can see there is a, another duffel bag. Let's see, maybe you can see it from here. Yeah, right there is a black duffel bag garbage and the car is full this is when i miss hatchbacks tesla we need a hatchback all right so we drove exactly 231.4 miles we used 55 kilowatt hour battery and 240 watt hour per mile but that was an empty and just me Okay, we all packed, we all packed, and now we put the navigation home, and she's asking us to go to Northeast again, and to stop for 40 minutes, because we have to get home, but it's probably gonna be much less. I have 74 miles an hour, 25 minutes. See, we'll see you at the supercharger. All right, at the Chesapeake Bay uh, supercharger, same spot like I was before, before I picked up uh, my son. Uh, again, 142 kilowatt hour, 500 miles per hour. It's, we are at 71 miles. Uh, and then it says 40 minutes. So we're gonna go have a nice dinner. So what we're gonna do is just count the time. So it's 6.03 right now. And then we'll come back. We'll see how many uh, miles we got. Uh, 143 now, holy shakalika. Nice, all right, so I'll see you after dinner. All right, guys, we just left the Chesapeake Bay Supercharger and we were there from 6.03 to 6.27. That is uh, 24 miles, 24 miles, 24 minutes. And we gained 171 miles. Most of them were in the first 10 minutes. That, I mean, this is done. Game changer, this, this charging speeds. 142, 143 uh, kilowatt hours of charging speed. Uh, it's just fantastic. I mean, after 10 minutes, I got a notification that uh, the car is soon ready for your the, the final leg. <laughs> so we have 155 miles to go. We'll be home by 9 p.m. Then I'll give you all the numbers. And as you see behind me, there's a chair and there's a fridge behind it. Don't ask. And there's a passenger next to me, but he's invisible. All right. So that's that. So I'll see you at home. Give you all the numbers and the watt hour per mile and all that stuff. All right. So see you in a sec. <clears throat> all right, guys. So I got home last night late and I just went to bed and crashed after almost more than eight hours of driving. So it's uh, morning time. Uh, here are some numbers and two important comments, so stay right there. 463 total miles we drove. We spent 118 kilowatt hour of uh, battery and 255 watt hour per mile. And that's combined back and forth. Now, going there, I empty. I was nothing. But coming back, I had my son and a whole load of stuff. So obviously it, it required more air conditioning speeds and all that so that's the numbers they're great and, and it's awesome now let me tell you two things for a one on the supercharging and one on autopilot listen to this 
uh, we know already that supercharging uh, you know eliminated what we know known as range anxiety it just just doesn't exist anymore uh, if you plan it plan your trip correctly but now what's being eliminated is the wait time that the, the 142 kilowatt hour uh, uh, charging speed is just incredible absolutely incredible wait until you get the v3 with the 250 uh, kilowatt hours so uh, literally i could stay in the car for 10 minutes and just go for my trip for this specific trip i could just go so uh it, it's staggering it's staggering so what i suggest to you guys if you have a long uh, long range trip put the destination so tesla chooses the uh, stops for you and then this way it warms up the battery for you and prepares the car for you for charging and you'll get the best uh, maximum charging uh, time autopilot i can tell you this autopilot you are safer driving with autopilot only if hands on the wheels eyes on the road okay uh when you are engaging autopilot, either one, I, I find the navigator and autopilot a little annoying. It moves back and forth from lane to lane. So I just use regular autopilot, which I can decide whenever I want to move lanes. So autopilot, if you have your hands on the, on the, on the wheel and eyes on the road, <clears throat> you will not hit somebody from in front. You will not drift off the, 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 the lines. You are far more uh, safer if you use uh, autopilot only if you are ready to take over and i did sometimes you know it has the phantom stop sometimes this sometimes that you do you i do i did take over a few times a few times but in those long highway drives put autopilot man you're going to be much safer okay that's it guys thank you for watching this long video if you made it up to here you should get a trophy thank you for watching help me change the world one electric car at a time and see you tomorrow guys